Good morning guys. Welcome back to the Arctivet YouTube channel. Today we are removing the steering rack from a 1997 Chevy Corvette. This happens to be the C5 generation and I want to tell you guys I got it out already. So you're going to see the, I'm going to show you guys the process on how to get it out and you're going to need a help. You're going to need another set of hands. You're going to, you're going to want some help. You could probably do it alone but it's just it's that it's such a pain to wiggle it in and out of here that uh you're kind of bench pressing all day so anyhow we're gonna get to that footage and i tell you guys all the tools you need through the process i can't think of them right off the top of my head however let's get to it here we go now that we've got both sides of the wheels off i'm gonna go over here on dylan's side show you what he's doing He's getting the cottering pins off the tie rod ones. So right there, he's getting those off. And then once we get those removed, we can get the bolt on top of there broke loose. I know it's super dark, sorry about that. Then we can drop our tie rods down, get the rotors out of the way, and then get to more work. Stay tuned. Gonna show it, yeah, we're good. So these are 18 millimeters. Oh gosh. Yeah, that broke it loose. And to get this out, what we're gonna do is take this nut off, flip it over, or drop it. I dropped it. So we're gonna screw this upside down on top of the tie rod. That's just a screensaver. If you tap it again, it'll, uh, there you go. Now that we got that nice and flush, we're gonna take our mallet. You can use a rubber mallet, a rubber mallet, but. Give her a few whacks. And then you take off that nut. And then you can just hit it right off, boom. And as we inspect my tie rods, um, this one's actually better looking than the other one, but I need new ones. So, there we go. Now we move on to the next few steps. Ah! So we've got our steering wheel turned to the left just a little bit. And what that does is that allows us to access, if I can reach in there, I can't really see my hand with this glove on, but that bolt right there on the steering rack 13 it's a 13 oh thank you Jeff for that foot long uh, another one oh yeah perfect We want to go ahead and take that bolt all the way out. And then, once we've done that, we need to reach up in here somehow. 
like so and then you're supposed to pop that off just like that boom there we go now our steering is not connected to that although we should probably turn the wheel straight first so let me pop that back on and then i'm going to bring my rack up here to rest just like that so I just went ahead and set it to uh, rest right on the alternator rack mount. Now it's out of the way, we're not going to have a problem with it. Okay, next step is probably going to be to remove the lines. And I believe that they're right up. Wait, is that one of them right there maybe? That might mm -hmm. be one of them. One of them is on my hand here, you can see that, and then, um, that might, where's the other one go? That's it actually, is it just that one? That's the one and then there's this one that runs up underneath me. Okay. Over here. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, one yeah. There. that one, okay, okay I see on top it now. Of that one. All right. So we'll need wrenches for those. Figure out what size they are. Okay, so we left off with pulling out the power steering lines, the fluid lines, and kind of covered everything up because it went in, went and got some lunch. So you can see we've got both our lines out. Those will use an 18 millimeter open end wrench, unless you got those special line sockets and you could use that i don't but we found that the top one that top one up there is best to come from under this way and this bottom one is best to do from this side so hope that helps out a little bit we ended up turning a 19 millimeter into an 18 with the help of some abraham lincoln's so, thank you to money. Saving our day. Now, we're going to move forward to getting what I believe are just these two bolts here. I think. I think it's just those two bolts. And then I think we're ready to try and wiggle this on out. So, let's figure out what size those are. You know... They're probably an 18 too, so we'll see. All right, here we go. If you need to move that line, you can move it pretty easily. Just kind of bend it. So that is an 18. Luckily, we got 18 sockets here. So now we've gotten both the passenger and driver side bolts out there are there's a nut and then a bolt so make sure you got two 18 millimeter either a deep socket or an open-ended wrench or in our case a 19 millimeter with a penny and then an 18 millimeter socket so now there's a pigtail that we got to disconnect and that guy is right here, which you just go ahead and pop that part off. And it's good to go. And I think, I think that now we might be able to start wiggling this thing out. So I'm gonna try and set you guys down here. Somewhere you guys can see a little something maybe. Maybe I'll just sit you like this. Try to let you see some of that action. Possibly. Might not be able to. Probably not. Ooh, as I trip, I'm just gonna come over here, try and pull this. Okay. 
We may need a pry bar tool or two. But I don't know if you guys can see all the way to the other side, but it's breaking loose, so. Okay, whew, what a, what a task to get that steering rack out. So what we had to do is on the driver's side, this bolt right here that holds the whole brace for the whole front suspension in. We loosen that bolt, that nut, excuse me, that nut, all the way to about two threads up, down, whichever way. There are two threads visible at the bottom. And then I took a pry bar and I put it right in there and then just pried that down. And what that does is that allows you to have just enough room to get this pump at the rack out. Because what you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit this nut up top. And so when you hit that nut up top and you get it as far forward as you can, you hit the mount at the bottom. And so what we did is we lifted the back part up so it's like this, it's kind of at an angle slid this nut free and then lifted it up dropped that bottom slid it right out and then you just got to kind of turn it twist it make sure you're watching the end tie rod unless you took yours off if you take yours off you're you're probably fine but that is how you remove your steering rack from a 1997 chevy corvette this probably works for all c5 corvettes up to 2004 However, I do know that a Z06 is a little bit different because you have to remove a cooler. And that cooler, from some videos I watched, the bolts are here for that cooler. And then you just got to get that out of the way. Otherwise, same exact process. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Again, this is the... I believe the fourth step, third step, third step in replacing your harmonic balancer, which let me go back over here, under here, and show you. Now we have complete access to, and we can get that off. <clears throat> what a workout that was. Now I'm not kidding, my hands are, my hands are black. It's uh, pretty gross under there. I know we got a glove on, but it's covered in nastiness. So, if this helps you remove your steering rack, please smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click that red subscribe, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Also, drop those comments down below. Let me know if you have any troubles, if you have any questions, or if this video was useful to you. Oh man, alright, halfway there, halfway there. Stay tuned for another video on how to remove the harmonic balancer coming soon. They seem to have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three people. Three people on.